Hi, welcome to Model Yoga. I'm Yogi Troy, and in this season of Model Yoga, we'll be focusing on the chakra system. The chakras are the energy centers in your body, and each of the seven chakras corresponds to different mental, energetic, and emotional qualities that are within you. There are seven episodes to correspond with each of the chakras. We'll be increasing your awareness of these energy centers while strengthening, toning, lengthening, and balancing your body and your mind. As a model, gaining awareness of your physical body, your energy, your emotions, and your thoughts will help you to feel more present, calm, balanced, and ready to achieve your maximum potential. Whether you're a beginner or advanced yogi, always remember to listen to your body, move at your own pace, and take the postures as far as is comfortable for you. I'm Yogi Troy, and this is Model Yoga. Today's focus is the fourth chakra, or the heart chakra, the Anahata chakra. The heart chakra is your center for self-love, acceptance, giving, and receiving. When this energy center is balanced, you will feel open-hearted and ready for true connections in the modeling world and the people in it. In this episode, we're going to be working on flowing gracefully between poses, the same way you may be asked to move between poses and expressions on a photo shoot. Let's get ready to flow. We're going to get started in child's pose. Allow your knees to spread apart. The heart chakra, we're going to be looking to open the heart chakra. Connect with your breath. Spread your fingers nice and wide and begin to open up. Take deep inhales up into the center of your chest. With your next inhale, lift your chest and gaze just slightly. Look up in between your hands and walk your hands a little bit further forward and then exhale and let your heart drift down into the direction of the mat. Let your forehead relax. We'll do that same thing one more time. Inhale and float your gaze up between your hands. Walk your hands a little bit further forward. Your hand. Then exhale, let your heart surrender, soften, and exhale again. Trust in what your practice has in store for you today. The same way you often have to surrender to the work of a modeling career, always trust and keep the faith that good things are coming your way. With your next inhale, float up to a neutral tabletop. We'll make your way down onto your belly, lowering all the way down to the mat, and then finding a capital T. Bring your chin down towards the floor. From a capital T position on your belly, bring your right hand down underneath your right shoulder. Bend your right knee, and then we'll open up towards the right side. Press in your right hand, and you'll roll towards your left. You can take the right foot back behind you. We're opening up the chest. Yeah, your gaze can just be soft and over towards your left side. Take one more inhale, find a little bit more opening and stretch in your chest. And when your exhale comes, we'll come back down to the capital T. Take both legs down to the mat, extend your arms out, and then we'll switch sides. Bring your left hand down underneath your left shoulder, left knee bends, and then we'll roll in the opposite direction. Only going as far as is comfortable for you with all the postures. Always trying to be mindful of your breath. Try to make every breath count. It's a great way to help to keep you focused, help to keep you present in your practice so you're always there with your body. When your next exhale comes, we'll come back down to the capital T. We'll just give yourself one breath there. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We'll set up for baby cobra. So baby cobra is just gentle spine strengthening. So there's little to no pressure in the hands. With your next inhale, inhale and peel your chest up off of the mat. Lift your chin. Little to no pressure in the hands. The hands might hover, or they might be just fingertips there for balance. When your exhale comes, we'll lower back down. We're gonna do two more lifts. Inhale back up, nice full lift. And exhale back down. Last inhale, try and make it. Inhale and count. Float up a little bit higher than you think you can. And then with your exhale, we'll lower back down. 
So we're gonna walk through all three front extension postures here. The next one is Cobra, where you actually will be putting pressure in your hands. So walk your hands out in front of you, extend your arms, and press and lift the entire torso up. You wanna keep your waistband down on the floor. And here it's spine extension, lengthening the front of your spine versus the spine strengthening we were doing in Baby Cobra. When your next exhale comes, we'll lower down and then set up for Up Dog. Bring your palms right underneath your shoulders. Press the mat away from you. Lift your chest and shoulders up. And then try and roll the shoulders back so you open your chest, open your heart. Long, tall spine up and out of the crown of the head. And then you might even try and squeeze an imaginary pencil back between your shoulder blades. Take one more inhale. And then with your exhale, we'll transition to down dog. You can transition through tabletop or just rolling up and over your feet. Exhale everything out in down dog. Let's bring your gaze up in between your hands. We'll walk both feet up in between your hands. We're gonna wiggle your feet out to the edges of your mat. So bring the pinky toes out. And we'll inhale up to a flat back, halfway lift. Palms resting gently on the shins. Exhale and we'll fold forward. You can grab for the calves or the ankles and give a gentle little pull with your biceps. Bring your chin in the direction of your chest. When your next inhale comes, fold back up to a halfway lift. And this time we'll extend our arms towards the horizon. When your exhale comes, interlace your fingers back behind you at the hips. Once you have your grip, inhale your hands up off of your hips. Find the flat back. And then with your exhale, release and fold forward. Let the head be heavy. Release the neck. And try and let your hands come a little bit further forward to the front. You might even engage your core and try and pull yourself a little bit deeper into your fold. Great job. Make sure you're still breathing. And then on a exhale, release your hands down in the direction of the mat. Walk your big toes towards the center of the mat. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale and fold forward. With your next inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up to Tita Tadasana, extended mountain pose. This time, bring your palms together and find a gentle front extension. Send your hips forward. Maybe your gaze drifts up towards the sky. Lengthen everything from the feet all the way up and out of your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, your hands gradually down in towards your heart, bringing your palms into your heart center. Just allow your eyes to close. Roll your shoulders back and feel the openings in your chest. And we'll be right back with more heart opening postures. We're back and we're gonna to continue to create new openings in your chest and spine so you're ready and prepared when we really get moving. Modeling can be a lonely road at times, traveling the globe and giving a lot of your energy to photo shoots, runway walks, and interviews. You may be surrounded by people all the time and it's easy to forget about yourself. It's important to take some time to slow down and give some love to you. Sometimes just closing your eyes for three to four minutes a day can recharge your batteries and help you move on throughout your day. Spending 30 minutes on your yoga mat can help too. From standing, We'll start with a connection to your inhales. Inhale your arms up and overhead to Tita Tadasana. When your exhale comes, just a simple circle of the hands back in the direction of your hips. This time we'll inhale up. When your exhale comes, we'll come down into a gentle little squat and your arms move just like their wings. Once you come down into the squat, bring your palms together and then you'll rotate your fingers towards your heart as you straighten your legs and come up. Once you get to the top, open up. You can let your gaze drift to the sky if it's comfortable for your neck. Exhale and come back down. Inhales, float you up. 
Exhale, let's bring you back down. Try and make the biggest circle you can so you really open up your chest, open up your heart. One more big circle. One more sinking down. This time we'll keep our legs straight. Inhale up. And we'll just exhale and swan dive. Coming into Uttanasana for a standing forward fold. With your next inhale, float up to a halfway lift. Feel your long spine. When your exhale comes, soften your knees, plant your hands, and step back to a high plank with the knees up or a modified plank with the knees down. When your exhale comes, we'll lower all the way down or halfway down, and then inhale up to baby cobra if you lowered all the way down, or up dog if you lowered halfway down. For your down dog transition, exhale, and you can transition through tabletop or just by rolling up and over your feet. Take a deep inhale and down dog. We're gonna get flowing. You're probably gonna break a sweat here, so allow some open mouth exhales to start by cooling your body. And then we'll inhale your right heel high. With your exhale, step your right foot up in between your hands. And find a modified lunge. Lower your left knee down towards the mat. And float your torso up. Try and keep the right knee above your right ankle and give yourself a moment just to adjust your right foot wherever you need it. The back toes may want to be curled under or uncurled, whatever is more comfortable for your knee. Now we'll start with some more front extending with your breath. With your exhale, bring your hands down in the direction of your hips and we gradually start a circle. We're gonna take three big circles, opening up the chest just gradually, gradually floating your torso back a little bit further. With the next inhale, bring your palms together and then find the full front extension. Pressing down into the mat with your feet and then lengthen, 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 lengthen. Take one more deep inhale, find a little more opening in the chest and the shoulders. And then when your exhale comes, just release the hands. Bring your hands down to the mat. Spread your fingers nice and wide and find down dog hands. Curl your back toes under. If they're not already, lift the back knee and we'll float to a three-legged down dog. You might have a gentle hip opening at the top. And then when your exhale comes, find a four-legged down dog. Right foot coming back down. We'll switch sides. Inhale your left heel high and exhale and step it through. It'll be the same thing. So lower the right knee down to the mat. Left knee is above your left ankle. Float your torso up. Float the hands up. Make any adjustments to your left foot. And we'll start the circles. Exhale your arms down. Inhale and gradually finding more and more length. Exhale down. Inhale up. One more circle, exhale down this time, palms connect, and really try and lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Sometimes bringing the gaze back a little bit further will help you, but never sacrificing your neck to try and open your chest or lengthen your spine. Last inhale. And with your exhale, bring your hands down towards the mat. Find down dog hands, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, and we'll float to a three-legged down dog with your inhale. And nice slow exhale. Four-legged down dog. Take one inhale and down dog. Just allow an open mouth exhale. We've got one more posture here. Inhale your right heel high. When your exhale comes, we'll step your right foot up in between your hands and set up warrior one feet. So for warrior one feet, we'll pivot the left heel down towards the mat. Toes are off at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna ask that you wiggle your right foot over a little bit further towards the right for warrior one. When your inhale comes, float the torso up. Make any adjustments to your right foot so you're feeling strong and balanced. Bring your right knee over your right ankle and then interlace your fingers back behind you at the hips. Try to interlace as many fingers as you can. Open the chest, roll the shoulders back. 
Take a gentle inhale and a gentle front extension. The gaze can lift to the sky. And then when your exhale comes, lead with your heart and gradually hinge at the hips, trying to bring your right shoulder inside your right knee. Head is hanging heavy. Arms are drifting up and overhead. Strong legs. This is a really challenging posture. It can be hard to let go into. Try and let go as much as you can. Open mouth exhale. Great alignment. And then with your last exhale, just let the head and neck relax and surrender. There'll be a slow release of the hands down towards the mat. Roll onto the ball of your back foot. Inhale up to a three-legged down dog. Great job. We just have one more side to go. Four-legged down dog with your exhale. And then float your left heel high. Choose your next exhale to step your left foot up in between your hands. We'll set up for warrior one on this side. Pivot your right heel down. Float the torso up. Wiggle your left foot off to the left side. Float your torso up to warrior one. Interlace your hands back behind you at the hips. Roll the chest open. Let the gaze drift up. Full inhale. And then really try and send your chest all the way to the front of the room. Let the head be heavy. Making sure the knee is above the ankle. Don't forget to breathe. In the challenging postures, it can be easy to hold your breath, so let the breath flow freely. Open mouth exhales. Last exhale, great job. Relax the head. And then we'll release the hands. Bring the hands down to the mat, pivot onto the ball of your back foot. Inhale to a three-legged down dog with your breath. Exhale as a four-legged down dog. Use open mouth exhales to really try and cool your body. Feel free to stay here in down dog or you can release to child's pose. We're gonna be right back. Okay, it's time to flow. In this segment, we're gonna be using your breath to transition from pose to pose, creating grace, harmony, and calm throughout your body and mind. If you're not already there, find your way to Down Dog. From Down Dog, exhale. With your inhale, float your right heel high. And with your exhale, step your right foot up in between your hands. Position your right ankle beneath your right knee. We'll set up for crescent lunge. Crescent lunge, the back heel stays lifted. Float the torso up. From the waist up, it's just like Utita Tadasana torso. Once you find your balance, we're gonna exhale and pull your elbows down by your ribs and then extend the triceps, extend the arms, roll your chest open. Try and hold there. And it's just like you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Nice, long, tall spine. With your next inhale, float the arms back up and overhead, back to crescent lunge. And then we'll exhale and drop into warrior two. So for warrior two, we pivot the heel down. And then all of the joints are in one line. Arms extended out towards the horizon, making just little subtle adjustments, making sure the shoulders are above the hips. With your next inhale, float to a five-pointed star. Really try and open up. It's like you're trying to stretch your mat. With your next exhale, we'll find goddess arms with the front extension. Exhale, bring your elbows down. Let your gaze drift up to the direction of the sky if it's comfortable for your neck. Open the chest. Try to deflate your lungs. And with your inhale, float right back up to a five-pointed star. With your exhale, we'll take warrior two to the back of the room. So flip your left toes to the back and then land in warrior two. Exhale, relax your shoulders. 
With your next inhale, float up to a five-pointed star. Again, exhale, find the goddess arms. With your inhale, find a five-pointed star. And then exhale, drop right back into warrior two towards the front. Freeze your legs and inhale to reverse warrior, floating your right hand up in the direction of the sky. For this first one, we'll take some time and find your breath, find the length along the right side of your torso. One more full inhale. When your exhale comes, cartwheel your hands down to the mat to a low lunge, pivot onto the ball of your back foot. The inhale is three-legged down dog. Inhale your right heel high. With your exhale, step your right foot down four-legged down dog, then we'll switch sides. Inhale your left heel high, exhale and step your left foot up in between your hands. Same postures, position the left knee. This is the first crescent lunge on this side, so take your time and when you're ready, float the arms up. Drive the right heel all the way to the back of the room. When your exhale comes, engage the biceps, grab and pull, then extend and kick back the triceps, open the chest, gazes at a 90 degree angle to the spine, squeeze the imaginary pencil between the shoulder blades, awesome. Inhale and float the arms right back up to crescent lunge, drop smoothly, gracefully right into warrior two. Eventually we'll be moving with our breath so you'll have a chance to flow on your own. With the inhale, float to a five pointed star, and then the exhale is the goddess arms. Open the chest, make every breath count. Inhale back up to a five-pointed star. With your exhale, drop into warrior two towards the back. Once your inhale comes, you keep moving and float to a five-pointed star. Open mouth, exhale, spread the fingers wide, open the chest. Inhale back to a five-pointed star and then it's warrior two to the front. Inhale, we'll hold this reverse warrior. Inhale, float the left hand back. It's the first one on this side, so we want to make sure you have your stability. You're creating your openings so that when we flow, you really have your form and your breath. Last inhale. When your exhale comes, cartwheel your hands down to the mat to a low lunge. Three-legged down dog is your inhale, left heel high. Exhale, four-legged down dog. We're going to go through that same sequence two more times. Inhale your right heel high. Here we're gonna link the breath with the movement. Exhale and step it through. Inhale right up to crescent lunge. One breath to one movement. Once your exhale comes, grab and pull and pull the biceps, then kick back the triceps. Inhale right back up to crescent lunge. Warrior two is your exhale. Five pointed star, full inhale, open up. Open mouth, exhale and goddess arms, exhale. Inhale right back up to a five-pointed star. With your exhale, drop into warrior two to the back. Inhale back up to the five-pointed star. Open mouth, exhale, goddess arms. One breath, one movement. Inhale back to five-pointed star. Warrior two to the front, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, make it count. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat and float right to a three-legged down dog with your inhale. Exhale, four-legged down dog, left side. Inhale, your left heel high. Move at your pace, exhale and step it through. It's your yoga practice. Crescent lunge is the inhale. Grab, the, grab and pull with your exhale. Inhale, the arms back up. Exhale is warrior two. Inhale to the five-pointed star. Exhale. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, five-pointed star. Inhales, warrior twos, exhales. Reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale and cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Inhale is a three-legged down dog, full breath. Exhale, four-legged down dog, one more round. Inhale, your right heel high. Exhale and step. Try and move fluidly. Gracefully inhale up to crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane arms with the pull. Inhale, the arms back up. Warrior two, exhale. Five pointed star, inhale. Goddess arms in a front extension, exhale. Five pointed star, inhale. Warrior two, 
exhale. Five pointed star inhale and open mouth exhale. Inhale back up. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale is reverse. Exhale is a cartwheel. One more side to go. Inhale, three legged down dog. Exhale is a four legged down dog. Left heel floats high. Try and finish strong. Exhale and step it through. Crescent lunge. And airplane arms. Inhale back up, crescent lunge. Exhale is warrior two. Five pointed star. Open mouth, exhale and goddess arm. Inhale back up to five pointed star. Warrior two to the back, great job. Inhale back to the five pointed star. Open mouth, exhales. Five pointed star, last one. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, take the cartwheel all the way down to the mat. Inhale, your left heel high, last three-legged down dog. Exhale, four-legged down dog. Pause there, deep inhales. Full open mouth exhales, your body is probably nice and warm, so open mouth exhales help to cool down your body. Feel free to stay there in down dog, or release down to child's pose. We're gonna be right back with our cool down. Welcome back. Now we're gonna move into the cool down portion of this class. If you're not already in down dog, please make your way to down dog. We'll take one deep inhale through your nose. Cooling open mouth exhale. Inhale, look up in between your hands. We'll walk your feet up in between your hands. Coming into a forward fold. Inhale up to a halfway lift, reconnect with your breath. Exhale and fold forward. With your inhale, you can just roll up towards standing. If you want to reverse swan dive, feel free to reverse swan dive. Just exhale and land in standing. Move into a balancing posture called dancer. To get connected with your breath and your feet, we're gonna start with just some gentle breath of the angels. So inhale your arms up and overhead. Same as we did before, exhale, sink down into the hips, fingers in towards your heart. Exhale down, inhale up. Start to find one point that you wanna fix your gaze to. This time we're gonna float your right knee up and then take your right foot back behind you and reach for the inside of your right foot. Try and hold here and find the fixed point where you're gonna fix your gaze and then gradually start to kick your right foot back into your hand. Try and kick a little bit more. You're opening up the right hip flexor here and you're opening up the chest, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. It's like you're trying to reach up and touch the sky. Try and kick a little bit more, find a little more length in the front. And then once you feel like you've lengthened as much as you can, start to tilt forward and find your full expression. Really shine your heart forward. Keep breathing, great stability. Try and find the balance. And it'll be a slow release. Come right back towards standing with a gentle windmill of the arms. We'll move right on to the other side. Inhale your arms up and overhead. We'll take one breath of the angels, bend both knees, sink down. Inhale your left knee up. And we'll set up for the opposite side with dancer. Reach for the inside of the foot. There's no rush to get there. Only go once you're feeling stable and gradually kick into your left hand. Send the back toes a little bit further back and a little bit higher. Try and find the maximum stretch from your left knee all the way up to the shoulders. And then start your leaning forward. Full expression, really try and nail it. Find the pose, find your drishti or your fixed focal point. Last inhale. And it'll be a real slow release of both feet back to the mat. 
Take one inhale of your arms up and overhead. We're going to head back down to the mat. Find one breath of the angels. Exhale down. And inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And then we'll swan dive forward. Lead with your heart. Finding Uttanasana. Inhale up to a halfway lift. With your exhale, soften your knees. Plant your hands. We'll make your way down to plank. And then just lower all the way down to your belly. All the way down to your belly. We'll set up for locust pose. So for locust pose, extend your arms back behind you, palms face down. It's like you have airplane arms. This will be a spine strengthener. You'll also be strengthening your hip flexors and your quadriceps. With your inhale, peel your chest up off of the mat. And then if it's available to you, Lift your feet up off of the mat. Shine your heart forward. Gaze where it's comfortable for you. Try and take one more deep inhale. Let's gaze straight forward. Find one more full lift. Then it'll be a nice slow release back down towards your mat. We have one more posture, bow pose. So for bow pose, bend your knees. You're going to reach back and try and grab your feet from the inside, or from the outside. Gradually start to kick into your hands. Peel the chest up, peel the knees up. If bow pose isn't working for you, you can feel free to come right back to locust pose. Kick. Try and find your full opening. One more deep inhale. And it'll be a slow release back down to the mat. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. We're just gonna press back to child's pose. After all of that opening, it's important to find a moment, just kind of relax, shut down just slightly, connect with your breath. This is your last pose for today. This is the same pose we started in, but you are different. You are more open, more free, and filled with love. Allow your body and mind to relax, surrender, and reconnect with your breath, and take a moment to be with yourself and all the physical, mental, and energetic changes you created for yourself today. Exhale everything out in child's pose. With your inhale, float up to a neutral tabletop. Just make your way to a comfortable seated position with your eyes closed. Bring your palms in towards your heart to seal in all of the love that you've created today. Deep inhale through the nose and as you exhale, exhale out all of the love that you have to give. You are full of love. Bow your head just slightly to honor yourself and all of the people in your life. Allowing your eyes to open slowly and try to maintain the feeling you have right now as you go on about your day, your evening. Put a big smile on your face and go out and give some of the love you have generated to the world. Don't forget to receive a little too. And as always, don't forget to drink plenty of water. Until next time, I'm Yogi Troy and this is Model Yoga. Namaste.